Did you know there's a metal on the periodic table that acts like a liquid at room temperature? It's called mercury, and it's pretty darn fascinating. Represented by the symbol HG and atomic number 80, this dense metal has been a source of curiosity for scientists and civilizations for centuries. Today, we're going to explore the world of mercury in detail. We'll delve into its unique properties, starting all the way down at its core with its nuclear structure. We'll also uncover why it behaves so differently from other metals and how it's been used throughout history. Buckle up and get ready to learn some surprising facts about mercury, from its ancient uses to its applications in our modern world. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Basic Facts and Periodic Table Location First, let's start with some basic facts about mercury. Symbolized as HG, Mercury is a transition metal with an atomic weight of 200.59. You can locate it on the periodic table in group 12, period 6, and block D. The element's cache number is 7439 to 976. Understanding Mercury's position on the periodic table helps us appreciate its chemical behavior and reactivity, discovery, and historical significance. Now that we have a basic understanding, Let's delve into the history and discovery of mercury. Mercury has a long history, known to ancient Hindus and Chinese civilizations. It has even been found in Egyptian tombs dating back to 1500 BC. The name mercury comes from its association with the planet Mercury and its use in alchemy. The alchemical symbol for mercury was shared by both the metal and the planet. The modern element symbol, HG, is derived from the Latin name hydrargyrum, meaning water-silver, chemical and physical properties. Moving on to its chemical and physical properties, mercury stands out because it is the only metal that remains liquid at standard temperature and pressure. The only other element that is liquid under these conditions is bromine, a halogen. Other metals like rubidium, cesium, and gallium melt just above room temperature. Mercury's high surface tension causes it to form rounded beads of liquid. Despite its highly toxic nature, mercury was historically considered therapeutic. Rare and reactive nature. Continuing our exploration, let's look at the rarity and reactivity of mercury. Mercury is a very rare element in the Earth's crust, accounting for only about 0.08 parts per million. It is primarily found in the mineral cinnabar, or mercuric sulfide, which is also the source of the red pigment called vermilion. Mercury is generally not allowed on aircraft because it readily combines with aluminum, disrupting the oxide layer that protects aluminum from oxidizing and causing it to corrode like iron rusts. Conductivity and Oxidation States in addition to its rarity, mercury exhibits interesting properties in terms of conductivity and oxidation states. Mercury does not react with most acids and is a relatively poor conductor of heat compared to other metals. It is a mild electrical conductor. Its freezing point is 38.8 degrees Celsius and its boiling point is 356 degrees Celsius, closer together than those of any other metal. While mercury usually exhibits a plus 1 or plus 2 oxidation state, it can occasionally show a plus 4 oxidation state. Its electron configuration causes it to behave somewhat like a noble gas, forming relatively weak chemical bonds with other elements. Amalgamation and Container Material Another notable aspect of mercury is its ability to form amalgams. Mercury forms amalgams with all metals except iron making iron a good choice for containers used to hold and transport mercury. This amalgamation property is crucial in various applications, from dental fillings to industrial processes. Applications in Modern Times Moving on to modern times, mercury's versatility is evident in its numerous applications. It is used in fluorescent lamps, thermometers, float valves, dental amalgams, and medicine. Additionally, it plays a role in producing other chemicals and creating liquid mirrors. Mercury, too, fulminate is an explosive used as a primer in firearms, and the disinfected mercury compound thimerosal is found in vaccines, tattoo inks, contact lens solutions, and cosmetics. And there you have it. However, its toxicity underscores the importance of responsible handling and awareness in all its uses. 
We've explored its role in ancient civilizations, its versatile properties in modern technology, and the precautions needed for safe interaction. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey through the complexities of Mercury. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing scientific explorations. Stay curious, and until next time, stay safe.